Hey, what's up everyone? Techie Josh here, back again with a new video. And would you look at here? I found more phones on Letgo. But before we take a look at them, I would like to just, you know, I guess you could say show you guys the Galaxy S7 Active that I was able to get for $50. And uh, as said in yesterday's video, I was using this thing or I have used this thing quite extensively over the past couple days. Uh, everything works on it. It's uh, it's an AT&T phone. I'm pretty sure that this phone is exclusive to AT&T, but I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure I may be right. And yeah, everything literally works on here. The only major problem, and as you can see, the fingerprint sensor works. No problem. I used this phone for yesterday's video, and it turned out pretty well. But as you can see here in today's video, I have much better lighting, and that's because... I forgot to get my light out in yesterday's video so I have it out for today's video and my god does it look so much better and I'm using my LG X charge to record today's video if you guys are wondering so yeah 32 gigabyte S7 active for $50 and I don't know why I didn't bother to make a video about it but I just didn't and the only major problem with this thing that I can see and that I have found out is that the headphone jack doesn't really work I try and stick my earbuds in there, that may sound wrong, I do apologize, but that's the best way to put it. My headphones don't go all the way in, or they don't make a proper seating in it, and it doesn't like really connect, like there's something jammed inside the headphone jack or something. But I looked in there, and I don't see anything, uh, anything blocking it, so that's literally the only problem with this S7 Active. Other than that, everything works amazing. Fingerprint sensor works, uh, both cameras work, everything works. And I'm pretty much in love with it. Uh, sorry for bumping the tripod. Yeah, awesome phone. Now back to today's video, what this video is actually about. So yes, I have found these two phones from LetGo and I have just got these today. Both of these were $20 and I'll go ahead and go over what's wrong with them. So here, as you may have already seen, is a green iPhone 5C. And now this is a 8 gigabyte iPhone 5C, which is pretty odd and pretty uh, pitiful in 2018. And the screen does have a crack on it, as you can see right there, if my camera will focus, which doesn't look like it is doing. There we go. And as you can see, the camera actually has a crack over it. That's pretty odd. It's literally right over the camera, and it's over here as well, if you can see that right there. But other than that, everything is intact. Seems intact. All the buttons work, power button works, home button works. The SIM card tray, however, does not want to pop out. I have stuck a paper clip in there trying to pop it out, but it does not want to pop out, unfortunately. And it is also slightly cracked right here by the volume buttons, as you can see right there there yeah right there slightly cracked and uh, it's turned on right now and the every all the buttons where the vibration works and everything it's vibrating when I do that and check this out focus I can't turn the brightness uh, down on the iPhone let me focus this focus X charge and by the way, I was charging it. And there you go. This camera is not wanting to focus for me today. Come on, X Charge, you can do better. Let me just tap outside the screen then to make it brighter. But yeah, there you go. It actually is accessible. But, unfortunately, I cannot access it. And I'm sorry you have to see this, but I can't turn the brightness down on this iPhone. And this camera that I'm using, the X-Charges, is not doing a very good job today, but you can see there, everything is um, showing and everything, but I'm touching the screen and it's just not responding. So naturally, this thing needs a screen replacement or something. But yeah, other than that, it works, multitasking, there you go. I can't touch anything whatsoever, but I can interact with it being the home button. You see Siri and the power button works and everything but the screen doesn't respond to touch and get this 
FMI, find my iPhone, is turned off. So if I reset this via iTunes, which I don't know if I'm going to do yet, it shouldn't iCloud lock it. So that's pretty cool. But I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't know if I should wait and try my best to get a screen replacement for it or or just what. I don't know. I've told some Snapchat friends and yeah, about it. You guys should know who you are. And next is a broken and shattered to pieces ZTE Z Max Pro. And remember, both of these were $20. The guy was selling this for 50 originally on his profile, and that was kind of outrageous and I'm I'm it's good that I was able to get it for 20. Matter of fact, both of them for 20. Okay, I take that back. I told him what about if I get the iPhone for 20 and like buy the ZTE like next week, next weekend when I have the money. But after some talking, he showed up and he just said uh, he'll give me this one too. So yeah, I basically got both of these for $20. And as you can see, here's the back of it. Seemingly not one thing wrong with the back. It's all good and everything, but the front is just, my God, is just so shattered. But actually, oh, come on, it's not going to work. Anyway, look at this. It fully works. Fingerprint sensor works. It actually functions with a screen like this. 32 gigabyte on T-Mobile, as you can see by that device unlock app right there. And I just unplugged it from the charger before I started this video, so... I have no clue how good the battery life is, but we shall see. It's just severely cracked, but I really don't care as long as it works. And as you can see, it works. Uh, cameras, let me go ahead and open up the camera. Rear camera works just fine. But if I flip to the front like so, let me find it. Yeah, you can see how bad the front camera is because the cracks are actually over the front camera. That's pretty unfortunate, but the rear camera works, as you can see without a problem. The whole phone works without a problem. I haven't found one thing wrong with it and it uses USB Type-C which I do have. Sorry if I didn't make that clear. USB Type-C. I may have stumbled a little bit uh, when I said that the first time. Uh, but yeah, the body could be in better condition. It is like a little jacked up around the sides and whatever. Or mostly up in this corner. It does have the SIM tray. I have another one but it does not have a SIM tray and it's a little more broken than this and the back cover has some issues but I'm currently trying to sell that one because I don't need it and now that I got this one I definitely don't need the other one so who knows what I'm going to do with it but yeah what do you guys think 20 bucks for an iPhone 5c that somewhat works and also a ZT Z Max Pro is a broken screen or shattered screen but completely functional let me know down in the comments below and I guess that's going to do for me in this video. And if you guys like this series, it's kind of a series. But if you li guys like videos like this, please, please, I'm begging you, let me know down in the comment section below. Because I can definitely do more videos like this. I know a couple friends of mine, um, uh, Justin, Justin from Electronic Consumer, sorry, kind of was getting a little ahead of myself like I always do. That's nothing special. But yeah, uh, Justin, he actually does uh, videos like this. And I thought to myself, hey, hey, why not do videos like this as well? It seems fun. And you guys may actually like it to see what I come across. So anyway, leave your suggestions down below of what you think of this, these finds, and if I should continue to do this series. So anyway, with all that being said, that's going to do for me in this video, and I will see you again in the next video.